We uh we come out here Friday nights after eight, and Saturdays from four or five o'clock until whenever. We're only out here Friday and Saturday. Come over here after five. Saturday. This is right here. I don't play with it. I drop it when I drop it. I drop it good. I don't play with it. Ain't no joke about dropping the music. I drop it real. I don't play with that shit. See, our people destroy it, man. Bro, it's kind of serious. You know, we ain't really talking to nobody, though. Demons, man. He said he's talking about music. Talking about music. Did he heard us playing the music? He stopped the music. He, he wanted to let us know real quick. <laughs> y'all think y'all jamming, but I do it for real. That was nothing. Yeah, man. I got to hold right there. Hold on real quick, man. All right, bro. All right. What's your nationality, man? Where you go? I'm crazy, man. I'm crazy. That's right, brother. Alright, brother. Put your pants up, brother. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. We went around and we got around that trip like that. Like that. Nah, all praises, man. I'll tell you, 59 and 2, so like you. Right? Alright. Matthew 59, I mean, uh, Isaiah 59 and 2. Right up. But Isaiah chapter 59, verse 2. Uh -huh. But your iniquities have separated between you and your power. Right. And your sins have hid his faith from you. See, that's why a lot of our people are trying to figure out. Why does the Lord judge the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, Seminole Indians, right, versus Esau, or the so-called white man? Right? Read this again. But your iniquities have separated between you and your power. Right. And your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. See that? Your sins, man. Your iniquity separates you from your power, man. Which is the most high your home. Give me Psalms 147 and uh, 19. Right? Everybody trying to rationalize in their mind why the world is the way it is, man. Because this is not your world, man. This is Esau's world, man. Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of that which followed. This is not our rest, man. We have to endure this life, constantly endure, man, until the end. Right? Didn't the Lord say, they that endure until the end, the same shall be saved? Right? Read this. Book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19. Uh -huh. He showed his word unto Jacob. So the Most High showed his word unto Jacob, man. The Israelites. Go ahead. His statutes and, ju and his judgments unto Israel. Uh -huh. He has not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Because the Lord has never dealt with these other nations, man. Right? And as for his judgment, they don't know the judgments of the most high. Like the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. Right? The Israelites. You see that? Give me, uh, it's more on that. Give me uh, Amos chapter 3, 3 and 1. Give me Amos 3 and 1, man. Right? Because we're opening up the scriptures and we're going through the scriptures and we're trying to figure out why things are the way they are, man. Right? Read Book of Amos chapter 3 from the top. <clears throat> Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. O who? Children of Israel. Hear this word that the Lord spoke against you, O children of Israel. Go ahead. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. What the Lord say? You only of the so I can. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Uh -huh. Therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities. So the Lord said he was going to punish his children, the children of Israel, because he only knows you. Right? He showed you his word. He gave you his law, statutes, and commandments. He made a covenant with you. You see that? Therefore, he punishes you for all your iniquities. Give me Joel 2 and 27. Right? Classics. Give me Joel 2 and 27. Read. Book of Joel chapter 2 verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. Why is the Lord saying this? Why is he saying he's in the midst of Israel? Why isn't the Lord in the midst of Edom? Why isn't the Lord in the midst of Canaan? Why isn't the Lord in the midst of Moab? Go ahead. And that I am the Lord your power and none else. He's the Lord our God and none else. Go ahead. 
and my people shall never be ashamed. That's it on that. So the Lord said he's in the midst of Israel and he's only our God. That's why he's known as the God of Israel, man. He's known as the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Give me uh, uh, 2 Maccabees 6 and 14. Give me 2 Maccabees chapter 6 and 14, man. Right? Because Jake, you're in the land of your enemies, man. Right? You mingle amongst the heathen. Right? So it sounds about right. When you're in the, amongst your enemies, man, you, you're going to suffer oppression. You're going to be on the bottom, man. Go ahead. Book of 2 Maccabees, chapter 6, verse 14. Uh -huh. For not as with other nations, whom the Lord patiently forbeareth to punish. See, the Lord punishes us immediately. Right? Not, he said, we are not like the other nations, man. The Lord lets these other nations add up and add up and add up, man. The so-called white man's sins is constantly adding up. Right? And it's going to be that way until they reach up into the heavens. Go ahead. Till they become to the fullness of their sins, so dealeth he with us. So the Lord says he let them do what they want to do until they come to the fullness of their sins. Right? To the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Right? Meantime, he deals with us, man. He deals with us as we're sons, man, because we're his children. So the Lord is constantly chastening us, man. Right? But we're known as the rebellious children, man. Right? We don't take heed to the punishment, man. Right? You, you, you like that, that son that the parent always got a whoop. You getting a whooping every damn day, man. You never learning. That's how the Lord deals with Israel. Go ahead. Lest that being come to the height of sin, afterwards he should take vengeance of us. See that? So the Lord goes ahead and gives us our judgment, man. That way we become as wicked as the other nations, man. Go ahead. And therefore he never withdraweth his mercy from us. And though he punished with adversity, yet does he never forsake his people. But the Lord is never going to forsake us, man. You see that? Give me the song of the uh, three holy children. Verse 5. Give me verse 5. Right? Right? So what we going through, we reading the Bible and we showing you why this world is the way it is. Why the so-called black Latino and Native American is on the bottom being oppressed by the other nations. How you doing, brother? Doing good. How about yourself? Doing well, man. Good to see you, brother. Let me get a prayer in for y'all real quick. Uh -huh. Put y'all with y'all rapping. What body? We just uh, what you mean? Say it again. What body? What body? What you rapping? Oh, uh, what is Sons of Zion? S O S O G. Yeah, Sons of Zion. G O C. G O C C. Okay, okay, okay. I'll I praise the Most High. All praise the Most High, man. Y'all keep getting it, man. Do what you I'll praise like you, man. Know it. I feel like you know. I'll praise you, man. I got a prayer, though, man. You got a prayer? No doubt. Uh, first practice. First Maccabees. I read the Yaqabee. It don't matter. I'm about to be out. Hold on. Let us finish finish this real quick. All right. Read this. Sons of the three holy children, verse 5. Uh -huh. And all the things that thou hast brought upon us and upon the holy city Ooh. of our fathers, even Jerusalem, thou hast executed true judgment. Right. So the Lord said everything that happened to us was true judgment. Right. Go ahead. For according to truth and judgment didst thou bring all things um, upon us before our sins. For we have sinned and committed iniquity departing from thee. And all things have we trespassed and not obeyed thy commandments, nor kept them, neither done as thou hast commanded us, that it might go well with us. Wherefore all that thou hast brought upon us and everything that thou hast done to us, thou hast done in true judgment. And thou didst deliver us into the hands of law, uh, lawless enemies, most hateful forsakers of Yahweh, and to an unjust king, and the most wicked in all the world. And now we cannot open our mouths. We are become a shame and re uh, reproach to thy servants and to them that worship thee. See that? So the Lord delivered us into the hands of our enemies, man, because of our disobedience. You right. see that? That's right. So the Lord did that, man. Right, give me Lamentations 4 and 17, man. So marching and begging your enemy to save you is not going to work, man. We have a redeemer. We have a king, man. Right? Read this. Go ahead, read. Book of Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 17. So the same power, right, that destroyed you for breaking the commandments is the same power that's going to deliver you the same way he delivered you out of the land of Pharaoh. He delivered you from the hand of the Egyptians. He's going to do it again, right? 
Book of Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 17. Uh -huh. As for us, our eyes has yet failed for our vain help. And now watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. See that? So the Lord said, all oh, this marching and protesting is vanity, man. You watching for a nation that can't save you, man. Right. They're never going to save you. That's right. All right? You've been doing this for hundreds of years, man. Nothing's going to change, man, until you repent. Right. Give me Hosea 5 and 15. You must repent and return unto the Lord. Go ahead. We're going to say it, chapter 5, verse 15. Uh -huh. I will go. I will go and return to my place till they till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face and their affliction, they will seek me early. See that? So the Most High said he's going to go and return into his place until you acknowledge your offense. Until you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans can admit that you sin against the Lord and return into the Lord and start keeping these commandments in these last days, you're going to continue to suffer oppression, man. That's right. You see that? Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. Bring, bring out what you got. Uh, no, keep going. Keep going. So much. Keep going. Okay. Give me uh, Daniel 9 and 11. In the book of Daniel, chapter 9, verse 11. Right? Because the world is in a frenzy. Everybody trying to figure out what happened and what's going on, man. Everybody's acting like this is new. You see that? Why? Because everybody's living in a damn matrix, man. You see that? Right? Nothing is real, man. Everybody's walking up and down to and fro, going about their life like nothing is going to happen, man. Read this. Look at Daniel chapter 9 verse 11. Oh. Yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law. That's hmm? right. All Israel have transgressed thy law. That's he said right. all Israel. He didn't say everybody. That's why everybody don't suffer the same oppression. That's right. Right? Everybody don't go through what the so-called blacks, Latino, and Native Americans go through, man. Right? Because Israel, you transgressed against the Lord, man. You broke the covenant that you made with the Most High, man. Go ahead. Even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us. What fell upon us? The curse is poured upon us. So the curse of the Lord that is talking about is talking about the Israelites. The curse is poured upon us. We're suffering the curses, man. Go ahead. And the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of Yahweh, because we have sinned against him. And he has confirmed his words, which he spake against us and against our judges that judged us by bringing upon us a great evil for under the whole heaven has not been done as has been done upon Jerusalem. So the Lord said he brought upon what we go through. Nobody on the earth could compare to it. man. You see that our suffering and our affliction is uncomparable to anything in history. You see that? Give me uh, Baruch. Baruch uh, 4 and 6. I think that's what it is. That was four and six. Come on. Let me broke chapter four, verse six. So all of our answers are in the scriptures. You, you know, you really ain't got to go nowhere else, man. You know, you ain't got to go to a count. You ain't got to go to legislation, right? You ain't got to go uh, to the voting polls. You see that? You got to open. The Lord said, "Blesses he that read it, man." Go ahead. Book of Baruch, chapter four, verse six. Uh -huh. You were sold to the nations, not for your destruction. Hey, the Lord said. Everything that happened to us wasn't for our destruction, man. That's why no matter what they do to us, they can't never destroy us. They can't utterly uh, do away with us, man. If that was the case, they would have been done it, man. Go ahead. But because ye moved Yahweh to wrath, ye were delivered unto the enemies. For ye provoked him that made... Oh, so I for ye provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to Yahweh. See that? So the Lord said we moved him to anger, man, in our disobedience, man. Right? Following after the other nations. Serving their gods, man. Sacrif sacrificing to these devils, man. Go ahead. Ye have forgotten the everlasting power that brought you up. And ye have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you. You see that? We forgot, the mo we forgot our power, man. Right? Now you're walking around talking about some black power, man. Ain't no power in the crayon, man. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 8 and 11. Because the Lord warned us, man. He, right. he warned us not to forget who, forget our power, man. But what did we do, man? We forgot the Most High. Go ahead. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 11. Uh -huh. Beware that thou forget not the Lord thy power and not keeping his commandments. Hey, the Lord said beware that you don't forget the Most High. How do you forget the Most High? Not keeping the commandments. That's right. Right? 
That's why the Lord said, He that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead, man. You see that? All these law, statutes, and commandments is our understanding, man. This is our wisdom. Right before the sight of the nations, man. Right? Uh, give me um, uh, Deuteronomy 11 and 26. Uh, Deuteronomy 11 and 26. I don't know. Excuse me, brother. You know your nationality, brother? According to the Bible? You got two minutes? Come with a word? Give me one minute. Why don't you believe in the Bible, brother? Why you don't believe in the Bible, brother? You see that? Hey, we don't believe in free will, man. We don't believe in free will. Everything is of the most high, man. From the beginning. Give me uh, Isaiah 46 and uh, 10. And so, you don't believe that we all have Nope. Everybody got a lot they got to live out. And it's all of the most high. Okay. Right? Read this. Time. But Isaiah chapter 46, verse 10. Uh -huh. Declaring the end from the beginning. So the Lord can declare the beginning from the begin the end from the beginning. Go ahead. And from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, uh -huh. My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. Give me uh give me Romans chapter nine. In the book of Romans chapter nine. Uh give me uh time. Started uh time started uh seventeen. Read this. Book up. Romans chapter 9 verse 17 uh -huh. For the scripture said unto Pharaoh Even for this same purpose who? Um, so I ahead, For the scripture has said unto Pharaoh uh -huh. Even for this same purpose Have I raised thee up right. That I might show my power in thee right. And that my name might be declared Throughout all the earth yeah. Therefore have he mercy on whom He will have mercy uh -huh. And whom he will harden it That will say then unto me Why does he find yet fault Right. For who has resisted his will? Who can resist the will of the Lord, brother? No, no, no. Nobody. Go ahead. Nay, but O man, who art thou that replies against Yahweh? Uh -huh. Shall the thing formed say to him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? The Most High controls everything. Nobody can resist the will of the Lord. You can't look at the Lord and say, Why you made me like this? Why did you do this? The will of the Lord. Just like, for example, Pharaoh. Right? It was a point Pharaoh was going to let them go because the Lord was grieving them so much. But the Lord told Moses, I'm going to harden Pharaoh's heart. You see that? He's, give me Proverbs 21 and 1. He said, I'm going to harden Pharaoh's heart. Uh, Pharaoh couldn't go against the will and be like, nah, I, I ain't about to take no more plagues. No, the Lord did that so he can bring more plagues. So his power could be known. You see that? So he controlled them. Go ahead. Proverbs 21 and 1. Book of Proverbs chapter 21 verse 1 The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord The, the Bible says that the king's heart is in the hand of the, most, of the most high Go ahead As the rivers of water he turneth and with uh, whithersoever he will No, the king do what he want to do He turneth it whithersoever he will Hey, the Lord controls these people, man That's right. When the Lord says time for Kim Jong-un to let that nuclear missile go Right, for Putin to let those missiles go They're going to do it according to the will of the Lord the Lord is the reason why they got him. Because he put the spirit on him to do his will, man. Right? Give me uh, Proverbs 16 and uh, 4. I think that's what I want. Proverbs 16 and 4. Come. Book of Proverbs chapter 16 verse 4. The Lord hath made all things for himself. The Most High made everything. Go ahead. Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. Even the wicked for the day of evil. So the wicked can't say, you know what? I ain't going to be wicked no more. I'm going to do right. You know what I mean? No, the Lord, that's your lot. The Lord created even the wicked for the day of evil, man. You see that? That's right. That's why I said elect. Right? That's why the Lord said one third and you got two thirds. They can't, you can't be like, oh, now I don't want to be the two thirds. I'm going to now be the one third. No, you're going to live out that lot and it's all of the most high. Give me Proverbs uh, 20 and 24. Proverbs chapter 20 and verse 24. Book of Proverbs chapter 20 verse 24. Man's goings are of the Lord. No, man's goings are of himself. Man's goings are of the Lord. Hey, the man's goings is of the Lord, man. Hey, we wouldn't be out here if we weren't for the Lord. We didn't just choose one day, oh, you know what? 
Let's pick up the Bible. Now, who is into all manner of wickedness, man? Right, but the Lord ordered our steps. Go ahead. How can a man then understand his way? Amanda, you don't even know if you're going to wake up in the morning. Sure. So you don't have the free will that you think you have, man. It's all of the most high, man. That's why when you wake up in the morning, you thank the most high, man. You see that? And you can walk down the road and get hit by a straight bullet, man. You see that? Tomorrow, not promised. Sure. Right? Shalom, sisters. Y'all know your nationality according to the Bible? You want to know? You got two minutes? One minute? 50 seconds? I can teach you the truth in 50 seconds? That's Kai, come up here, sister. Give me that Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Uh, get Deuteronomy 1 and 1 first. And uh, we'll go off of those. Don't run, ain't it, girl? I'm just saying. I'll praise to the most high, man. Give me John 8 and 32. Look at John chapter 8 and verse 32. Yeah, get that first verse too. Look at John chapter 8, verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So the Lord said, You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Right, sisters, y'all come here to work. Let me ask you a question. What would you say your nationality is? Based on your understanding. African American, right? So we're gonna we'll start with that, right? So Africa is one continent and America is another continent. Uh, give me Psalms 49 and 11. America is named after an Italian map maker, so-called white man named uh, Amerigo Vespucci. Africa is named after Scipio Africanus, right? He defeated Hannibal in the Second Punic Wars. So Africa has over 50 countries in it. If you ask a real African their nationality, they're not gonna, they know they're not the whole continent, right? They're gonna say I'm Kenyan, Ethiopian, so we're going to read a prophecy in the Bible as to why do we call ourselves these things, right? Read this. Book of, uh, Psalm chapter 49 verse 11. Uh -huh. The inward thought is that the house shall continue forever. So these nations, they think all oh, this is going to last forever, right? Go ahead. And their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. What the Lord said they were going to do? They call their lands after their own names. They call their lands after their names because you don't find American. Everybody said they believe in the Bible, but you don't find America, China, Africa in the scriptures. So what they did was they named it after them and they put it on you. All right, give me Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Now we're going to show you who we are. We're going to prove it out of the Bible. Go ahead. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1. Uh -huh. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. To who? All Israel. So who is Moses speaking to? He's speaking to Israel. All right. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 15. So y'all fathers, would y'all fathers yeah. be so-called African-Americans? All right, so we got a chart up here. And we got um, all 12 tribes of Israel on this chart. And according to the scriptures, archaeology, and history, the so-called African-American are from the tribe of Judah. So you would be Israelites from the tribe of Judah. Now we have to prove it to you. Read this. Because we know about the transatlantic slave trade, sub-Saharan slave trade. So we came over here on slave ships. That's a fact, right? So now we're going to prove in the Bible through prophecy who you are. Go ahead. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. Uh -huh. But shall come to pass, and thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Y'all know the story of Moses when he brought them out of Egypt? So the Lord said if we break his commandments, that all these curses are going to come upon us and overtake us. But they don't tell us why we went into slavery. They just say it happened to us. But they never, nobody never tells us why. So this is why right here. This Moses, when they brought him out, the Lord gave us commandments. And this is what the Lord told um, Moses to tell us. But it shall come to pass, if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Cursed shall thou be in the city. So, we're going to read some curses. The Lord said that the Israelites were going to be cursed in the cities. Alright, how do we live in the cities in America? In the UK? Wherever we at in the earth? Are we on the bottom? Last high, first fire? Right? Go ahead. And cursed shall thou be in the field. We cursed in the fields. We're getting gunned down. Right? In 2020, we got to beg, right, to be equal, right, for them to stop killing us. We was cursed in the tobacco fields, the sugar cane fields. Go ahead. My sons and my daughters shall be given unto another people. Were our sons and daughters given to another people? Right. Go ahead. Um, and that I shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. When they came, when Master Johnson came to Master Jackson Plantation to buy your children, there was nothing we can do to get them back. We didn't have an army. 
If we Africans, why didn't the Africans come over here and, and fight for us? You see that? Go ahead. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb and a, a what? A proverb and a byword. The Lord said that the children of Israel would become proverbs and byword. A byword is black. That's a that's a Crayola. A byword is being called outside of your God given nationality. African American, those are bywords. Read. Among all nations, whither the Lord shall lead thee. Uh, so I, 48. Therefore, thou shalt. 46. All right. 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. So these curses that we're reading, they're upon us for a sign. What's a sign? You got Publix back here. If it wasn't for the sign, we wouldn't know that was Publix. So the Lord said, the sign to let us know who we were in the last days were going to be the curses in Deuteronomy 28. Go ahead. And for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. A wonder to make you think, hey, wait, I ain't black, I'm actually brown. You see that? I'm not African American, those two white men. Right, go ahead. 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. Who are going to serve who? Thine enemies. The Lord said his people would serve their enemies. Go ahead. Which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. In hunger. Right? Where do we go to get food? To feed ourselves. Publix, Walmart. Do we own these places? No, we, we, they give us a check and they wait for us to bring it back to them just so we can eat. That's serving your enemy. So the Lord is saying it's a curse to have to go to another nation of people to eat. Because now you got to depend on them that the food is safe. Go ahead. And in thirst? The Lord said it's a curse to have to buy light. water. Right, water should be free. They bottle it, they put the cement down. If you don't pay your uh, water bill, he going to come cut it off. Read. And in nakedness, clothes on your backs. Right, we don't own no textile mills. Even if you got, if you want to open a clothing company, you still got to serve your enemy because you got to go to him for fabrics. Go ahead. And in want of all things. No matter what you want, education, you got to go to his school system. He's going to teach you his, he's going to teach you as an African American. You see that? Go ahead. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he has destroyed thee. Didn't we have yokes of iron, chains on our necks? But the Lord said we wouldn't always have chains. So right now we don't have chains on our necks. He said until you were destroyed. So now we destroyed. So he can take the chain off. Because you got a bunch of niggas, Haitians, African Americans, Jamaicans running around. You see that? Go ahead. 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. Now who was scattered among all people? We were. Can the so-called white man read these curses and relate to it? Can the China man read this and relate to it? No. And there thou shalt serve other gods. The Lord said, when you get to these places, you're going to serve other gods. Go ahead. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. The Lord said, these gods that y'all are going to be serving in America, right? But your fathers don't know about these gods. Go ahead. Even wood and stone. What's wood? The cross. Christianity is the number one religion on the planet. It's over 9 billion people in Christianity. That's the wide gate, Shalom, brother. That's the wide gate that leads to destruction. Didn't the Lord say, enter ye in the straight gate? So the Lord said, we will be into Christianity. Um, and stone. Stone, the number two religion. Islam, our people is into, they Muslims. What is the stone? The Kaaba stone in Mecca. They go bow down to that stone. You see that? Go ahead. 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. And now this is the nail in the coffin. We just came out of Egypt. The Lord said, I'm going to take you into Egypt again. Now we got to figure out where is this about ancient Egypt. We just came out of there and they never went back into captivity in Egypt. Read. Book of Exodus chapter 20 verse 2. I'm the Lord thy God which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt out of the house of bondage. So Egypt is synonymous with slavery or bondage. So when you look on the American dollar it has a, a pyramid on the back. We built those under Pharaoh in captivity. So even they know that. In Revelation 11 and 8 it says this is a spiritual Sodom in Egypt. Right? Because they know we built this place up for free. So that pyramid represents your captivity. Right. Read that again in 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With what? Ships. How did we get here? So this is a prophecy Moses gave thousands of years before it happened. Because that didn't happen in the Bible. We came over here on cargo slave ships. Go ahead. By the way whereof I speak unto thee. Moses said exactly how I'm saying it. It's going to happen that exact way. Go ahead. Thou shalt see no more again. We wouldn't see our homeland again. So how in 1948 did those people get in the land now they're the Jewish Israelis? That's against the word. 
the Lord, when the Lord come back, we're going to be scattered. That's why he's coming to deliver us, to take us back to our land. So how are they already in the land? Go ahead. And there ye shall be sold unto your... Hold on, read that slow. And there ye shall be sold... The Lord said, Lord. when you get there, you're going to be sold. Were we sold? Go ahead. Unto your enemies... To our friends. Enemies. The Lord said you were sold unto your enemies. Don't they treat us like enemies? Go ahead. For bondmen... For slave men... And bondwomen. For slave women. And it can't be talking about nobody but the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. Because we fit the curses. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. So now y'all know that y'all are Israelites, according to the Bible, not African Americans. Y'all are princesses and daughters of Zion. Right. Let's see what the Lord said. Read. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people. The Lord chose us to be a special people. Not like everybody else. Go ahead. Unto himself. Above. Equal to. Above, now we below, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So the children of Israel, the Lord said they're above all people. That sounds like the Lord is racist. Right? Do they teach us that in church? Do they teach us that in this society? You see that? Give me uh, Jeremiah 17 and 4. That's why the Lord said he dwelleth not in temples made with hands. Right? Wisdom cried without. She uttered her voice in the streets. You see that? That's why the Lord got prophets out in the last days. To bring his people back. Go ahead. Book of Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 4. Uh -huh. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy inheritance. The Lord telling Jeremiah. Now Jeremiah know who he is. Jeremiah was a righteous prophet. The Lord is telling Jeremiah, who was an Israelite, you're going to discontinue from your heritage. Go ahead. That I gave thee. Uh -huh. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemy. We just read this in Deuteronomy. Go ahead. And the land which thou knowest not. So we, in a land that we didn't know when we got here, and we're serving our enemies. Give me 28 and 49, Deuteronomy. So, Shalom, brother. So we discontinue from who we are. So the Bible prophesied that the Israelites would know that they were Israelites in the last days. Go ahead. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. So whoever God's people is, a nation came against them from a far away. Go ahead. From the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle fly. As what? As swift as the eagle fly. Whose symbol is the eagle? America, who else? The French? Spaniards? They all got, they all exalt themselves as the eagle. Even when they landed on the moon, they said the eagle has landed. You see that? Go ahead. A nation whose tongue, a what? A nation whose tongue mm. thou shalt not understand. Now we all speak in English, but none of us Englishmen, because we didn't understand. We spoke Hebrew. So this is our history book. We're reading about us. This is our story. You see that? But what did they do? They gave us this guy, yeah. and behind this guy came a doctrine. That's why. We read in the Bible, but it says something different than what we're taught because we don't read. You see that? Yeah, give me Job 9 and 24. Right? So the Lord said that man of sin must be revealed in the last days. Go ahead. Look at Job chapter 9, verse 24. Uh -huh. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Now we know the Lord made the whole earth for our sakes, according to Second Ezra, right? But it was given to the hands of the wicked when we sinned and broke the commandment. We broke the covenant. So who runs the earth today? Who has embassies set up in every nation? The so-called white man, right? And we say so-called because just like we're not black, he ain't white. He's red according to the scriptures. Go ahead. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. The Bible is telling you we were going to cover the faces of the judges. Who are the judges? The Israelites. Go ahead. If not, where and who is he? That's a rhetorical question. The Lord said that the so-called Edomites, the white man is not the devil in the earth, you got to show me another nation of people that is. You see that? Give me uh, Revelation, I mean, Jeremiah 14 and 2. Give me Jeremiah 14 and 2. Because you sisters are the real Jews, man. Right. The suffix ish means to pertain to. So if I say it's 12-ish, is it 12? No. You don't find Jewish in the Torah. You Jews because you're from the tribe of Judah. Right. Judah is short for Judah, not Jewish. You see that? Let's see what the Jews look like. Book of Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 2. Uh -huh. Judah mourning. So the real Jews in mourning. 
They don't own the banks. They don't own the NFL and NBA teams. You see that? They don't own the news stations and control the media. Uh, Zuckerberg, they don't own Facebook. They are in mourning. They marching in the streets begging to, to stop being put to death. Go ahead. Judah mourneth and the gates thereof languish. The Lord said our gates are languishing. The gates represents our leadership. We don't have no real men, no real leaders. They all coons, man. You got TD Snakes, Cruffalo Take Your Dollar, uh, Jesse Messy Jackson, Al Sharpton. They're a bunch of coons that sold us out, man, for a position next to the white man. So our leadership is languishing until the prophets come back. Read. They are black. They are what? Black. No, they white. Black. They red. Black. They black. Read. Unto the ground. Why are they black unto the ground? Because Genesis 2 and 7 says, the Lord formed man from the dust of the ground. You go into the dirt, the deeper you get, the darker it gets. See that? Give me Daniel. Get the, let's get the most, most high. Let's see what the Lord looks like. Because the white man told us he's just a puff of smoke. So let's see what the most high looks like. Read this. Book of Daniel chapter 7 verse 9. I beheld till so I, I beheld till the thrones were cast down. And the Ancient of Days did sit. So the Ancient of Days is the Father, the Most High, the Creator of all things. All right? He sit. That means he got to have a butt to sit down. Go ahead. Whose garment was white as snow. Oh, so he got a garment on? You got to have a body to have on a garment. Go ahead. And the hair of his head. Oh, he got hair on it? He got a head? Read. Like the pure wool. Like the what? Pure wool. So the Most High looked like his people. The people that they may hate. We hate our hair. But the most high got woolly hair. So if the most high got woolly hair, what you think his son looked like? Give me Revelations 1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me Revelations 1 and our 14. Let's see what the Messiah looks like. Because this, this image has destroyed our people, particularly our women, man. Right? Read this. Book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. Every week we ask our people, who is this? And they say, that's Jesus. You see that? Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So it gave two uh, characteristics, texture and color. It was woolly in texture and white in color. Kind of like the elder right here. Read. As white as snow. Uh -huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Genesis, the 49th chapter, was prophesied that his eyes would be red with wine. Not blue eyes. So he really, he's already out. So that's three strikes. Go ahead. And his feet uh -huh. like unto fine brass. I'm looking at the sister's feet. Your feet are the same color as the rest of your body. Fine brass is like a penny. So this man is done. Go ahead. As if they burn in a furnace. If you burn anything in a furnace, it's just going to get darker. And he was very dark. You see that? But you can't, after the Renaissance, the Renaissance means the rebirth. After the so-called white man came back into power, because we ruled during the dark ages. They don't teach, in school they teach us the dark ages was a period of time when there was no documentation. That's a damn lie. We were ruling in England, in Europe. You see that? That's why they called it the dark ages. When they came back, we was in captivity and they brought us this image. And they said if we didn't bow down to it, they would put us to death. So if Master Jackson was a Baptist, guess what? Big Mama was a Baptist. And she taught her children. And her children taught their children. And they passed it down from generation to generation. You see that? That's why the Lord said we got to be born again. Then we got to take everything that we learned here in Babylon, throw it away, and be retaught. Become like little children. Read. Book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 3, verse 48. And laid open the book of the law. It's a prophecy that they were going to do that. The book of the law is the Bible. So these other nations, they took our books when we was in slavery. They translated it into another language, and this is what they did. And laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen has sought to paint the likeness of their images. See that? They painted the likeness of their images. Not everybody white. You see that? But the Bible say they, they look like us. Get Job 30 and 30. We'll get a couple more. We're going to prove it. All right, I'll praise you. Read this one. Book of Job chapter 30 verse 30. Uh -huh. My skin is black upon me. Oh, color ain't in the Bible. I thought skin color not in the Bible. Job said his skin is black. Go ahead. Um, and my bones are burned with heat. Who we'll get dark when the sun hit them? We do. We just get darker. You see that? So what we're showing you is that we are the people of God. We the Israelites. And we got to repent in these last days as Israelites and keep the commandments. All 
All right, sisters, I pray to the Most High. Right? Give me Baruch 20, uh, 2 and 29. Chapter 2 and 29. Book of Baruch, chapter 2, verse 29. Uh -huh. If you will not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations where I will scatter them. Uh -huh. For I knew that they would not hear me. The Lord said he already knew you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans wasn't going to listen. You Israelites, right? Because it is a stiff-necked people. The Israelites is known as a stiff-necked people, man. Rebellious. Go ahead. But in the land of their captivity. We in the land of our captivity. What the Lord say? They shall remember themselves. They shall remember themselves. You see that? Right? That's why the Lord said the spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. That's what happened with those sisters. Go ahead. And shall know that I am the Lord their God. For I will give them and heart and ears to hear. You see that? And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. Think upon my name and return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds, for they shall remember the way of their fathers which have sinned before the Lord. And I will bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. See that? So give me Hosea 1 and 10. So Bible prophecy is being fulfilled in these last days in the midst of chaos. Right? While the world is in chaos, the Lord is waking up the 12 tribes of Israel. Right. Right? He's bringing us back before he destroys this place and deliver us. Read. But Hosea chapter 1 verse 10 uh -huh. Yet the number of the children of Israel Shall be as the sand of the sea Which can, that's why you got These 12 tribes are like the sand of the sea now And it started It was 70 souls man Right in the beginning But now they are the sand of the sea right? Which cannot be measured nor numbered And this shall come to pass That in the place where it was said unto them Ye are not my people This is the place that it was said that we are not the people of the Most High They said we was Negroes they said we was coons. They said we was niggas. We was blacks. We was African Americans, Afro Americans. You see that? But the Lord said in that same place, go ahead. There it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living God. And now we are here to tell that you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, you are the sons and daughters of the living God, man. You see that? Bible prophecy being fulfilled in these last days. And this is the, the, the biggest fear of the so-called white man. Is the 12 tribes waking up and repenting. Right. Because he knows his end is over, man. His kingdom is finished. 